This is Pallini. At just 4.4 kilometers across, it's one of the smaller moons of Saturn. Although Pallini is actually the largest member of its orbital group, the Alcyonides, where the other two members, Methany and Anthe, are a mere 2.9 and 1.8 kilometers in diameter. Pallini orbits close to Saturn at a distance of 212,000 kilometers. For context, that's about 60% of the Earth-Moon distance. But it's not the closest of the Saturn moons. That title goes to Pan, which orbits within the anchor gap found within the A-ring. So why have I called Pallini the 80s new wave moon? Well, just like the fans of the genre at the time, Pallini sways from side to side, has a ring, and was around in the 80s, but was discovered again in the mid 2000s. The 1st of June 2004 to be precise, where Pallini was first seen in these images taken by the Cassini orbiter. Now the reason this looks like a scene from a David Lynch film is because the contrast has been cranked way up in order to see very faint specks in the image that could be moons. Fun fact, these images were actually discovered by a code that was left to run on a laptop while the owner was on holiday. Dr. Sebastian Charnals, owner of said laptop, said he'd been looking for weeks trying to find moons within the Cassini images, but to no avail, only to bugger off on vacation for a bit and return to a newly discovered moon. To quote Dr. Charnals, this tells me I should take more holidays. From the motion within these images, an orbital path could be plotted for Pallini, and something seemed very familiar about that particular trajectory. Turns out, something 200,000 kilometers away from Saturn had been snapped in a photo taken by Voyager back in 1981. Enhance. After a bit of orbital number crunching, using some of the most daunting equations I have ever seen, it was proven this barely visible streak was indeed Pallini, found in the 80s, revived in the 2000s. Armed with the details of Pallini's orbit, the Cassini team knew where this little moon would be and continued to take more photos. After more number crunching, the team found that Pallini's orbit is perturbed by the nearby moon of Enceladus, meaning this much, much larger moon is causing Pallini's orbit to change on a regular basis. Which makes perfect sense, as Enceladus is only 25,000 kilometers away from Pallini, but 2 million times heavier, so of course it's going to have an effect on the Pallian orbit, making this little moon sway about 4 kilometers either side of its path around Saturn. This is something the Alcyonides have in common. Given their tiny size and close proximity to way, way heavier moons, all three members have regularly changing orbits. Pallini due to Enceladus, and Methany and Anthe due to Mimas. And speaking of Mimas, when I show you an image of this moon, your eye will immediately be drawn to the Herschel Crater, a 140 km wide impact crater that defines the Mamantian surface. Why am I talking about this impact crater? Well, given how the orbits of Pallini, Methany, and Anthe are very similar, this indicates all three moons have a common origin, where it's been suggested they are debris from an impact on a larger, close-by body that's on the same orbital path. Gee, I wonder if there's any evidence of a big collision near the Alcyonides system. And while on the subject of collisions, due to many tiny asteroids constantly hitting Pallini's surface, there's always tiny bits of debris being blasted off this moon. So much so, there's enough material to form a ring, which Cassini spotted many times and was called the Pallini Ring. Well, obviously. And because the bigger sister has a ring, that means the younger ones have to have one as well. At the same time Pallini's ring was found, turns out Methany and Anthe had rings too, both of which follow the orbit of the swaying moons. Why did I just refer to these moons as sisters? Well, like most moons in the solar system, they are named after characters from Greek mythology. The Alcyonides is the collective name for the seven daughters of Alcyonius, the king of giants. When Alcyonius was having a little nap after a long day of travelling, Heracles thought it would be just fine to up and stab and kill the sleeping giant, a move that has been universally considered not cool. Grief-stricken with the sudden loss of their father, the Alcyonides threw themselves into the Greek ocean, where the Queen of the Sea, Amphitrite, took mercy on these distraught daughters and transformed them into a flock of Halcyons, a legendary bird inspired by the Kingfisher. So that's everything you need to know about Pallini, a swaying, ring-bejeweled moon with a tendency to be a tad overdramatic. Pallini is truly an 80s new wave moon.